As the University of Arizona prepares for a new school year, this week we checked in with President Robert Robbins. Among the topics we covered, how his administration is addressing claims of misconduct directed at the University of Arizona and its athletic department, and how he plans to improve academic success among students. Our conversation begins with his views about growth at the U of A. You know, there are uh, ABOR goals that look out to 2025 or 2030, and um, the projected growth of the university to, let's call it 55,000 students from where we are, um, is something I inherited. I don't necessarily uh, buy into that that's what we should be doing. We're in the middle of a strategic planning process, and I think that we'll reevaluate uh, through this process what our goals for growth are. When President Robbins arrived at the university last year, he called for a new strategic plan that Robbins says addresses economic development, research efforts, and how to run the U of A more efficiently. Robbins says nearly 10,000 people have offered feedback so far. If there's one thing we can accomplish, it's to focus on student success. Our rankings in the U.S. News, News and World Report are 124. Our research ranking and reputation and expenditure puts us in the top 35 and top 25 public institutions, yet our student success metrics are at 172. That is not good enough. We have uh, a third of our students that come into the university who are not prepared for math, and we have to send them to uh, a remedial math program. That, there's a problem for me there. Uh, I think there are other pathways that we could potentially help students uh, get to the ultimate goal of getting a university degree. We need to develop programs to help them be better prepared and of course we need to be involved and engaged with the local school systems and if you had to invest in one thing it would be early childhood de development and so how does the university help do that and I think our uh, College of Education is, is really engaged with the community and helping with that. But this is a national problem that we need to work on and um, have a national dialogue about the investment in education. You mentioned uh, quality students. That means perhaps being a, a bit more selective in the yes. students who come here. You would like to not go over the 55,000 in enrollment. Does that mean that we could see students being turned away potentially if they don't meet our criteria? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And that'll be very, um, uh, that'll be very controversial um, because of the issue of access. But I think that, um, you know, I am very committed to working with uh, Chancellor Lee Lambert at Pima, um, also with the Chancellor of uh, Maricopa Community Colleges. How do you anticipate that'll go over with the public in Arizona? So many families that that have plans for their kids to go to the University of Arizona one day? Well, I think we can get them there. Uh, I think there'll be a way to, uh, to accommodate everyone. And it, and it doesn't mean that um, they can't come to the University of Arizona, but they've got to work their way up because the last thing we want them to do is to come here and fail. Our conversation then turned to the university's response to issues concerning Title IX, a federal law that protects people from discrimination or harassment based on their sex. The university has been in the national spotlight for a variety of negative reasons. You've instituted some new policies, plans in place to ensure that the university heads in a different direction, to create a safer environment for the students and staff. Tell me a bit about the planning to get to a place where you feel that the university would be in a, in a respectable position. Being a heart surgeon, I know that it, if uh, a patient gets to me, we've missed many opportunities along the way to prevent disease from having to be intervened on. And so I see that every time we have an issue with uh, uh, relationship violence or sexual uh, harassment or violence that we've missed on preventing that. So we're gonna be very, very focused on a program that will reorganize our Title IX efforts. Uh, and I would even say our Title VII discrimination uh, efforts. Uh, that to, to proactively go out and educate and keep this on the front burner of something that we're talking about. You've got to have a mindset that it's important to you, just like diversity and equality, 
Those things come from the top and they have to be important. If they're not important, nobody pays attention to them and nothing gets done. Moving forward, what does the timeline look like? I know there have been some hires that have been made to try to get in front of this. Right. Well, we, we hope to have a new uh, Title IX coordinator um, within weeks to months. Uh, I'm finding out, uh, as all of the pe great people we have who've been uh, doing this work at the university, uh, this is in no way uh, a uh, commentary on the work they've done. I think they've done a great job. The problem is I think that we haven't given them enough resources uh, to and made it an institutional priority to invest in. Allegations concerning sexual harassment extend to the athletics department in both the football and track programs. How do we go about regaining trust with the public and the players who are looking at this institution? I think always it starts at the top. Having good leaders, again, a cultural issue uh, around what, what we will um, uh, tolerate and how we want to represent to the outside world what's important to the University of Arizona. I think Dave Hickey is our athletic director. Um, he started a few months before I did. I think he's doing a really good job. This week, Athletic Director Dave Hickey led a group of reporters on a tour of the university's facilities. He also explained some of his department's priorities. These are the spaces that they spend so much time in. Um, and it's, uh, one, an investment in their experience. Um, it's uh, an investment in the programs. It helps from a recruiting perspective when you can bring people in and show the kind of commitment and investment we have. So we're trying to build national level championship programs. Um, we have a lot of those already here. And we want to continue to be at that level. Many of the things that, um, that were done uh, or, or um, surfaced in this last year happened before we got here and, it, and it, you know, culminated in this year of having some negative press. I just see that as an opportunity for us to uh, make changes and, and demonstrate that we have uh, the right values and that we're gonna focus on what's really important. If you can help me look into the future, what does five years look like here at the University of Arizona under your leadership? So I think five years from now, uh, we will have uh, had the strate strategic plan implemented for four years so we can see a, uh, the f first cohort of students that will for instance, be able to take advantage of the new honors village that we're building, to be able to take advantage of all the strategic programs that we're gonna be implementing uh, to improve retention and graduation rate. We should all collectively uh, be proud of the fact that we uh, were one of only a few uh, AAU universities to get the Hispanic Serving Institution uh, designation this year. So I think that's gonna help us recruit even better and more uh, Latino and Hispanic students that will, it will um, be a powerful force in, in helping uh, diversity be even more important on this campus. Higher education is not affordable for everybody. Are we potentially weeding out people when we make it so expensive? I think particularly here in Arizona, uh, even though the state legislature has cut funding back, it's still a lot more affordable than it is in other states. You know, if you look at what the cost is for us to educate a student, it's about $15,000. We get uh, support from the state, but we also have a large population of out-of-state students that are paying higher uh, tuition rates and are subsidizing in-state students. We want to have an equal playing field so that everybody has a chance uh, to get an education at the University of Arizona and be able to afford it. So you'll see we're going to have some very edgy and progressive programs that we're looking at um, uh, for the strategic planning process, potentially a way of, um, you know, pay later when you're successful. We take very seriously the amount of uh, money that's spent by uh, students and their parents and their support network, but we believe it's a pretty good value. President Robbins, thank you so much. Thank you very much.